Hello guys and welcome to the FM20 Mobile Gateshead Career Mode. Um, today we have the uh, Champions League semi-final against Atletico Madrid and also the possibility of winning the league against Wolves. Um, I guess we'll see how that goes but first of all we'll see if we can get to the final of the Champions League. That would be absolutely perfect and I'll be showing you that in this video if it happens. Um, we beat uh, Borussia Dortmund in the uh, quarterfinals, uh, 1-0 uh, on aggregate, Benedetto getting the goal there, um, so we're going to see how we do in the semi-final, not expecting to win, I'm expecting to do at least one more season, so we'll see how that goes, um, but let's get into it now, uh, fingers crossed we can do okay, so we've got Mertens, Matuidi, McClear, Pauls, Scalino, Moreno, Elneli, Boy, Nesbitt, Paulinho and Guyana. Bit of a iffy team, but it's just one of them. We'll uh, get it gone, done and see how we do. Um, at home for the second leg, um, it was 1-1 in the first leg, so we'll see how we get on. Uh, the league's looking very good, as I've said previously, but we'll mention that after this game. Uh, we're looking very good to take the uh, take the win, though. Uh, as McClear gets a yellow card in the first 10 minutes, that's not great. Um, oh my God, is he sending him off? McClay gets his second yellow. Brilliant. So he must have said something. And that's brilliant. That's just what we wanted. So we're going to go to three at the back. Screw it. Luckily, most of our fullbacks can play centre back. Um, but that's not going to do as well for this. Hopefully, we can just use it to our advantage with the three at the back. And hopefully, the wingers will do what they need to do to uh, track back. But we'll see. I'm not expecting to win. Um, but we'll see. Uh, but reaching the semi-finals is good enough in itself. As I say that, Guyana gets injured. Blowing brilliant. Just what we wanted. <laughs> Hopefully it's not a serious injury, but that's in the first 20 minutes of the game. Blooming awesome. We'll see how that goes. As I say that, Atletico Madrid score. Ah, dear. I don't think it's going to be our game today. And hopefully Guyana's not going to be out for a long time because we need him for the end of the season. Moreno plays it and uh, it goes straight to the goalkeeper. I thought he was going to play it through to Von Schrotter then, but it didn't happen, unfortunately. Half time is approaching. Um, only 1 0 down, which isn't a bad do at all. Hopefully they can't don't score here again, but it's highly possible. Luckily, it just goes over Merton's goal there, but they're looking a lot better than we are. Although, for whatever reason, we've had more shots. They just haven't been shown. Both of their shots have been shown on screen. So we could still get in this. We just need to hopefully capitalise and turn some of these chances actually into goals. Uh, it would be nice, especially at home. Um, it would be slightly disappointing to lose, but... It's one of them, really. They are a good team. Von Schrotter plays it into Nesbitt, and Nesbitt has his shot saved. As I say that, Correa gets, makes it 2-0 for Atletico Madrid, and uh, it looks like we're going to lose this one. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do here. Um, Boy needs to come off now, so we'll bring on David. David into Cam, and we might as well do the last one. Uh, we'll bring on Gaze. Straight swap, and that'll take us to the end of the game. Um, I mean, I know I've lost this, and that's going to be it, but I just hope Guyana's not going to be out for long. I mean, I know we've only got two two games left this season, but losing him is going to be a toughie for the last two games of the season. We, we haven't completely won it, but we need to win this. Well, if we win the next game, we've completely won it, but they're not two easy games, not at all. Wolverhampton Wanderers are a tough side to play against. Uh, they're up in Europa League, Champions League places, so we need to try to do okay. Uh, really, we should have been better than this, looking at the shots on, ta on target. Both exactly the same. Corners exactly the same. Possession, there's not much in it. Corners, we've had loads, apparently. And I don't think I, we've only had one shot that I've seen, so they can't have been very good. Uh, but as I say, that goes to full time. It looks like we're going to have at least one more season of this, um, if I even bother doing it, but... Uh, the reserves are doing god awful, as per usual. I mean, they've actually won some games this season. Uh, it'd be nice to see them do better, but I actually think that's it for them. Um, let me just double check. Might as well show you this beforehand. Uh, fixtures. Yeah, that's it. So, I guess that's what we'll do for now. Uh, Leeds have actually gone away with a trophy, which is good for them. Uh, we need to improve the reserves, but I think it'll happen 
off camera maybe you'll see it in the five plus years it depends on how i decide to do it. it depends on if i want to do it as a the manager or as not the manager i think i'll probably do both um but that's that we're out of the champions league unfortunately but i wasn't expecting to do as well as i did this year so we've got uh, wolves and everton um, Everton, I'm not actually sure where Everton are. Where are Everton? 13th. Arsenal are in the relegation zone. Jesus Christ. So that could be a, a toughie for them. Uh, Brighton and Southampton are the teams that look like uh, they're going to struggle. Crystal Palace are definitely going to go down. It'd be weird to see Arsenal go down, <laughs> obviously, being the team they are. But you can see the league here. If we win this, we win the league. So uh, that would be nice. So I guess I'll bring you right back once I've sorted out the team. So we're back now. Um, this is the team we're going to go with for the Wolves game. Just looking at Guyana, he's out for the rest of the season, unfortunately. I mean, there's only two games left, but it's a bit of a disappointment. Gash leg, so so I've got the studs into him. Um, but unfortunately, that's going to be him out for two weeks. Uh, so the team we've gone with is Mertens, Main, Savarino, Glebotsky, who's on the transfer list now, as I've said previously, I think. Uh, Mercy, Gaze, Terrell, Benedetto, Bakayogo. Robertson on the left and David up top. Uh, Von Schrott is slightly tired, so I want to try rest him as much as I can, and uh, we'll see where we go from there. Um, fingers crossed that we can just keep it going um, as best as we can. I think what I might actually do is just quickly bring Andy Stokes with us uh, from uh, the reserves just to put him on the bench because we might need him. Uh, he might be quite useful. Screw it. I'll just bring them all next match and i probably won't bring them all but i just want to have the the choice of doing so so these are the reserves if you didn't know and you've made it this far into the video which is highly unlikely um, but we will just have a look now quickly um andy stokes will bring boy can not come um clear is fine so my tweed doesn't actually have to come so we'll take him out and uh, that'll be a job well done. Uh, so let's get going and see how we do in this game against Wolves away. So we're at Molling you uh, today. Fingers crossed we can do okay. 7th of May, mother's birthday. Um, let's see how we get going. As I say that, bloody hell, they get an early free kick. Um, they're looking a lot better than we are, unfortunately. The momentum seems to have not gone our way uh, this early into the game. Hopefully we can get into it. But our possession is not looking nice, to be honest. 38% is a bit disappointing. Um, so I guess we'll see what happens here. Fingers crossed we can just keep it going. And uh, just get that. All we need is one one goal, one win. As long as they don't score. Mertens is, I think, the best goalkeeper in the world now. <laughs> so he's doing very well. Bakayogo just puts his shot over the bar. Um, but we just need to try and get it pushed up a little bit. Gaze has got a chance, and it goes straight into Collins' hands again. But we're looking a little bit better. But as I say that, one of their players manages to get a bloody goal. Of course they do. It's just the way of the world this is. So we're 1-0 down in the first half an hour. Fingers crossed we can get on top of this. Mercy's going to whip it in to Benedetto. This Collins guy is having a worldie of the game. All of our shots have been saved so far. Um, so we just need to try and get on the top of this. Gaze is going to whip it in again. We need to put start playing it a little bit more. We're just shooting from everywhere. As I say, that oh, Tyrell gets it picked up into the middle. Uh, he's going to play, try to play it through to David, I hope. David <laughs> puts it wide. Oh, my God. So that's the way of the world, of course. So we're going to get to half time now. We need to have a look at just improving what we've got here. Uh, let's just have a quick look where we are at um i think we're going to go free at the back we will bring main there robertson can sit in oh mercy can't okay we'll do that so mercy's going to play on the uh wing back position and that's what we're going to do for the second half hopefully that works well defensive winger okay so we've got a defensive winger and another defensive winger hopefully this will work out nicely for us. Uh, it's just needed. Please work. David, we'll just play them as both as poachers. Hopefully, that's a good call. Probably not, knowing me. But we've got a half to uh, try to see what happens. And hopefully, they'll work out for what we need them to do, to do anyway. 
Um, but we're coming to the second half now, 1-0 down. We just need to capitalise on this. and hopefully, I mean, they're going to get more shots, but hopefully we get more shots in uh, with a more of an attackive side. Yeah, it looks like it's working out. We're just not not showing any shots on target, to be honest, um, that are worth showing us anyway. I mean, there's been six, but just not, not particularly awesome. Uh, Benedetto to come off now. Uh, I think we'll bring on young lad Jara, but oh no, Jaro actually wants to play in camp, so we'll do that as the first one, and then we'll just do the second two now. Gaze has had an awful game, so I'll bring him off, bring on Monty. He wants to play as a central midfielder, and then we'll also take off David, because he's just not played well. Could bring on Van Schrott, but we'll bring on uh, the young lad of Stokes, and we'll see how that goes. Hopefully we can just get a goal. I mean, a loss is a bit disappointing, and it brings them back in it. As I say that, they make it 2-0. Of course they do. Of course they do. We could have won this. We could have won the league today. We could have won the bloody league. Let's have a look at this. Okay, so it's going to go into the last game of the season <laughs> against Everton. Um, I guess we'll see how that goes, and I will be showing you it, because we may win the league. We may not. I'll be disappointed if we don't, to be honest. Main's going to play it up. As I say that, they get a chance and it just comes over the bar. What on earth are we doing? We're having an absolute mare. So, very disappointing from the boys there, but that's what we're going to come away with. A 2-0 loss against Wolves. Very, very disappointing there, but that's done them very well. So I guess I'll bring you on to the Ever Everton game. I will be right back. Three games, three game episode. So... Here we are for the game that could win us a league. We've gone with Mertens, Matuidi, McClear, Bamboski, Scalino, Terrell, Elnelli, Boy, Bakiogo, Benedetto and Von Schrotter. Obviously, we're still missing out on Guyana, unfortunately. This is the league, oh, and this is what we'll be looking at. It's between us and Tottenham. Tottenham obviously won it last year. They've got more wins, but we've drawn more this year, which has helped us out. They've scored way more than us, but we just haven't conceded well this a lot this year. Um, so we we basically have to win. Uh, Tottenham are going up against Leicester in the league, who are in 13th. So we need to do better than that. So let's get on to it and uh, get the bloody win. Here we go. First half to come now. Uh, we just need to try and get the goals coming and see how we do. Um, as I say, that Everton are getting on top of the game. Keane gets the chance here and plays it past Mertens. Fortunately for them, it didn't go in. Um, Mertens didn't look like he moved much. But we are looking very, very good here um, to hopefully win the league. Um, let's just quickly put it onto this. We're still winning the league at the moment. Uh, scores on the doors are still us, uh, for us at the moment anyway. Tottenham... Um, just below us there. As I say that, they go 1-0 up uh, against Leicester, so they're winning the league at the moment. We need to keep it going here. Bakayogo is going to whip it in into Von Schrotter. That puts us in a very bloody good position, and that then puts us back above Tottenham here, looking very good indeed. Terrell's now got the ball, plays it through to Boy, who has a long-range shot, and Jaycock has to make a nice save there. Uh, we're looking good though. This is what we want. This is what we want indeed. Having That was only our 50th goal of the league season this year. We need to look to score more, to be honest. Bakayogo is going to whip one into Von Schrotter, who's going to force Jaycock to make another save. We're looking good so far though. And it's looking good. Apologies for the background noise. Um, but we are looking very good indeed too take the victory as I say that Von Schrott gets another shot off puts it past Jaycock and uh, we go 2-0 up 51 goal of the season there let's just have a look at the scores at the moment um, we're looking at for Leicester who are there, they're only 1-0 Hudson O'Doy is getting the goal apparently I'm surprised he's gone there but that's what we're going to do, so we've reached half time top of the league Looking very good. Obviously, all the games happen at the same time here. Arsenal are still not looking good. 
Um, but we're looking very good here. We just need to hold this out and hopefully get to the end of the game and take our first Premier League trophy back to the Angel of the North Stadium. Benedetto's going to whip it in to Bakayoko, who unfortunately just plays it straight into the goalkeeper's hands. Uh, as I say that, we need to do the first substitution of the game. We'll take our boy. Boy will come off. David will come on. He's had a very, very good season so far. Well, this is the last game of the season, but he's had a very, very good season, his first showing. I mean, he's set to retire soon. He's on a bit, but he was for what he's done, he's done very well uh, in his first year. I think he's only got one or two seasons left with us, but it will be very good after his retiring at the end of it, uh, we'll bring on Moreno. He's had a good year, so we'll uh, let him play. It's called peeps and bounds like a young Colombian. Um, as I say that, we're coming into the last 20 minutes of the game here. Um, let's just have a look at Arsenal to see how they're doing. Um, as I say that, we get a chance. Von Schrotter, I would have put him to score that because he's bloody good at it. Uh, Arsenal are drawing on, go uh, on points, but their goal difference is letting them down there. Um, as I say that, we look at the bench to see who we bring on. I think what we'll do is we'll take off Bakayogo and we'll bring on Paulinho on the right and get that sorted out there. And for the last 15 minutes, we'll, we'll let it run and hopefully come away with the league. Uh, Arsenal, obviously, lo not looking too brilliantly there. I mean, are they winning? Where the hell are they? Arsenal, oh, they're at the top. Joe Gomez have clicked on the winning, uh, but I don't think it was enough for them. Yes, Arsenal have been relegated from the Premiership, but... More importantly, we have come away with the Premier League by one point. Our goal difference, um, con conceding only 15 in 38 games, is very impressive. Um, so that is a good effort from the lads. All of these players get a Premier League medal. Um, and that is us coming away with the Premier League. That is one of the goals that we wanted to do with Gateshead. Um, it's the Champions League, really, that we want to do. So I think I'll give it one more season and we'll see how we do because I'm running out of time to do these. Um, the weekend video will be uh, the season review and then I've got three episodes to win it, basically, and then that's all I'm going to do, I think. There might be one more after that for uh, five years later or a career review. I don't know what we'll do, but that is nice. Uh, for us to win the Premiership. Um, it was looking a bit iffy when we lost against Wolves. Um, but that's looking good. The uh, Champions League final is Man City via uh, Atletico Madrid. So I guess we'll see that in the season review, whoever wins that. But it's been a very nice season. I mean, that's a very low-scoring Premiership uh, finish, to be fair. 83 points isn't particularly a lot of points. Uh, but we will take that nicely. Drawing a lot of our games, but uh, losing just what we needed uh, to win 24 as well. And um, let's just have a look at the players. Oh, and Pr Primo Guiana gets um, gets a top scorer award as well. So he's done well in terms of that. League winner, yeah, they haven't given him the trophy yet. But that's that. Uh, sorry for the long episode, but we win the Premiership. We are the champions of England. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.